I have a very interesting subject. I call it five simple steps to go from average to fortune. Let me give you this simple little talk, how to go from average to fortune. There's five simple steps. You might like to make a note of them. Here's the first one, get serious. That's number one. I don't know any substitute for that. You've really got to get serious. You don't have to be grim, but you must be serious. I know a guy that's got a half a dozen jokes keeping him from becoming wealthy. He's not known as rich. He's known as a joker, which I guess is okay if that's the kind of life you want to live. But it really isn't the best way to live. To go from average to fortune, you must get serious. And you must get serious about two very important things. Number one is setting your goals and where you want to go. Designing the next five, the next 10 years is so vitally important. What do you want to do economically? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? What would you like to have? What would you like to share? How much would you like to earn? How far would you like to go? Those are some major questions to ask. And for that all to work out like you want it to for the next five or 10 years, in my personal opinion, you've got to get serious. Then you have to get serious about another important subject. And that important subject is called personal development. Personal development is striving hard to become the kind of person that you want to be. And to become the kind of person you want to be, you've got to work at it. 10 years from now, you will surely become someone. The big question is, who? What are you becoming? And if you go to work on it now, sure enough, in a very short period of time, you can take on a new direction to become the kind of person you want to be. There's a very important question to ask, and the question is, 10 years from now, you will surely arrive. And the question is, where? So to answer the question of where you want to arrive and the kind of person you want to be, you've got to get serious. So that's point number one. To make your life worthwhile and unique, to go from average to fortune, you've got to get serious. Now, the second point is, get smart. To make your life work out worthwhile, you've got to have some ideas, you've got to have the information. So you've got to be smart. In fact, in this decade, you must be much smarter than you were in the last decade. You've got to read the books, you've got to come up with the information. When I have a chance to talk to the high school kids, that's the theme of my talk, get smart. There's nothing worse than being stupid. And if you will read the books, learn from your experiences, do all the things that you possibly can to get the information, Sure enough, you'll be wiser this year than you were last year. And I've got a few techniques that I teach in my seminar on how to get smarter. Keeping a journal, going to the lectures, going to the seminars, listening to the sermons, picking up ideas from other people. You just must keep up this steady process of learning. Never cease your quest for knowledge. And that's one of the key points to go from average to fortune. Get smart. Now here's number three. You've got to get going. All of the things that you've learned will not do you that much good if you don't put it into an action plan. You've got to get going. In my management and leadership seminar, we teach game plans, how to put all the good things that you've learned into action. Economic action, social action, personal action. How to make the changes and how to actually do the work, how to actually function. Get going, that's the key. Some people are ever learning, but they don't put it into action. They don't really take the action. It's like the man who keeps bringing materials to the building site and never builds anything. He keeps bringing in the sand and the gravel and the windows and the doors and the roofing material, and he just stacks up all these supplies, but he never builds anything. See, if you do that long enough, fairly soon they'll come and take you away. You've got to do something with what you've learned. You've got to take action. You've got to get going. So that's one of the most important things to learn, how to design your days, how to design your weeks, how to design the months so that you take the proper action to get the proper return that you're looking for, whether it's economic or personal. Get going. Now here's number four. You must get excited. And not just the false enthusiasm of just pure positive thinking. You've got to get excited over some very basic things. One is get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. Because discipline is major step one toward personal progress. And anytime a person wishes to, they can make major changes in their life, personally and socially and financially. 
It doesn't ever have to be the same after today. No telling what you could do today if you really wish to. The act of murder is a clear indication that a person in one drastic act can forever change the course of their life. It just happens to be in the negative direction. What I would ask you to do, starting today, is get excited about committing an act. An act that's positive, an act that's constructive, to make the changes in your life that you want made, and to go the direction that you want to go. So that's number four, get excited. Get excited about your potential. Human capacity is usually never the problem. Little children can learn several languages. We can learn to do the most incredible things. All we need to do is take the time to do it. So it's not a matter of capacity. It's a matter of judgment. It's a matter of excitement. It's a matter of will. And it's a matter of wanting too bad enough. So it's pretty exciting to know that any day you wish, you can change your life. Any day you pick out, you can make major changes. It doesn't ever have to be the same again. And that's exciting. Knowing that intellectually and personally, you can actually do the things that will make major changes in your life. That's number four. Number five is get away. I have found, especially in the last 15, 20 years, that there's an important thing called life balance. You've got to learn to get away. You must learn to get away and be alone. Learn to get away and reflect. Learn to get away and learn how to live as well as how to earn. How sad it would be to learn how to earn well, but not learn how to live well. You must balance your life. We teach something, especially in my staff, I teach a some, something called lifestyle. Lifestyle is how you learn to live your life. Some people have money, but they don't even know how to spend it. They have time, but they don't know how to spend it. Some people are successful, but they don't know how to spend their success. They don't know what to do with it. They don't get joy from it. Rather, they get animosity. A father takes $5, crushes it, and throws it at his son and says, if you need it that bad, take it. Now, it's the same $5, but instead of dispensing it with joy, he dispenses it with animosity. That's the difference in not knowing how to live. It's called lifestyle. Then you've got to take time to cultivate good friends. You've got to take time to be with your family. You've got to take time to be with the people who are important to you, designing your life in those respects. Get away. Take the time. Reflect on your life. Recharge your batteries. Do some growing away from your enterprise. Then when you come back to your enterprise, after you have taken this time to balance your life, you will find that on the job, working on your enterprise, things will really go much better. So those are the five simple steps to go from average to fortune. Get serious. Get smart. Get going. Get excited. And get away.